Hey, this is Brant with Vintage Statements and today we've got this nice 12 drawer dresser that we're gonna redo. So follow along, hit that subscribe button. Alright, overall the piece is in pretty good condition. I do have the hardware that was pulled, looks like they may have wanted to start a project but didn't want to finish it. So I'm uh, going to remove all the hardware, I'm going to sand this down, give it a nice scuff so we can get a nice grip with the paint. Uh, then we'll scuff that up, give it a farm, uh, farm style look, finalize it with some wax. So shouldn't be too bad of projects, I'm thinking this is probably going to be about a five hour project today. So let's get the rest of this hardware off. We'll get this door off, get all the drawers out, we'll check the subframe, make sure it's all good. But uh, what I'll do is I'll do a quick run by so you can kind of see the whole piece before. Alright, so we got all the hardware off, we double checked all the subframe, made sure everything's nice and tight. So those drawers will slide in and out really nicely. This is an Ethan Allen set, so it's nice and heavy, nice quality, so it makes this project even more fun. Uh, so what we're going to do is use our DeWalt sander, we're going to, uh, using 80 grit, we're going to sand the top down, all the flat areas, so we'll pull the drawer, sand them, and then after we get all that done, we're going to use the same sandpaper and we'll do anything with the curves, edge work on the drawers, edge work on the frame, anything that's got a curve to it. And then we'll move on, we'll get it all cleaned up, vacuumed out. So, 80 grit, DeWalt sander, and well, <laughs> my sad, tired, old mask. Let's get started. Alright, we've wiped it down, vacuumed it out, and now we're ready to start painting. As you can kind of see, the sheen is gone, and that's exactly what we want. It helps uh, with that sanding, get this paint to stick a lot better, uh, and that final project will last you a lot longer. So that's what we want here. So what we're going to do is two coats. I've got bare priming paint. It's an eggshell. The color is called Blackout. And uh, we'll do the back side of the, the door. We'll do all the drawers, frame, twice. Uh, so I'll start with the back side. I'll do this uh, once, I'll put it in the sun. I'm gonna do all the drawers. I'm gonna come back, do the back side of this door, drawers again, let all that dry, and then I'll be able to flip this over once I start doing the frame. So let's get started. Two inch Wooster brush, and here we go.
twice, we've let it dry, and now what we're going to do is scuff up the edges, give it a little bit of a farm style worn in look. Now this is a step that you can definitely skip if you want that solid look. This paint really does come out really nice, so it's not a lot of uh, extra work to leave it solid or touch up or anything like that. I think this set actually could have got away with just one coat, that paint went on so smooth, but of course I always do two. So I'm going to use my old 80 grit sandpaper that I used to scuff this down. I'm going to do all the edges, all of it, wipe it down, clean it up, and then I'll uh, start waxing it. So let's get started by sanding this. sanded it down, we wiped it off, vacuumed it out, got rid of all the little sand in it. And now what we're gonna do is seal it. For us, we're gonna use our Ferrothane finishing wax. This is uh, an eggshell. We don't want any more gloss to it, so we're gonna put the wax on. Now, if you wanted more of a shine to it, uh, you could definitely go with a different product that has more of a gloss feel to it, but old rag, and we're just gonna hit this whole piece. Completed. I love the outcome of this project. We used blackout, bare priming paint, blackout, and eggshell. We scuffed it down and, well, waxed it, put all the hardware back on, and the final piece looks pretty amazing. If you like this project and many of our others, subscribe to our channel, like us on Facebook and Instagram, leave us a thumbs up or a comment. We always love to see those. And, well, maybe give your own hand a try at redoing a dresser.